Put your sword in your scabbard and pray that the glory would always be on your sword. Yeah, never pull a carnal blade from a carnal mind. Yeah, let the spirit of truth be upon your heart, be in your tabernacle forever, ye, and hold the right hand inside that hidden right hand of everlasting, the everlasting glory of mighty Yahushua HaMashiach. Ye, let him hold the blade, ye, let that one with the sharp double-edged sword speak and slay the wicked and bring forth the archers at his side. Ye, all of our sides, as we discover the birthing of Yahushua this day. His father, his father was named Joseph. sons Joseph was the eleventh son of Jacob and his son the son over the tribe Joseph. Yeah, that poor old boy went through a lot with his brothers. But this isn't a story about his brothers. This is a story about what he endured this time around, mighty friends. You see, our Mashiach's father he was a carpenter. And they lived in a small town in the land of Israel. It was called it was called Nazareth. And he had betrothed a woman he loved. Her name was Mary. She also lived in Nazareth. Shortly before they were going to be wed, Joseph had a strange dream. In it, he saw an angel of Mare Yehovah who came down from the heavens and spoke to Joseph. The angel, the angel of Mare Yehovah, yea, the spirit of truth, yea, and this angel, told him that after his marriage, Mary would have a son sent by the Spirit of Truth, yea, the Father himself, 
to save his people from their sins. You are unable to save yourself. There is only one that can purge the wickedness in your heart. The everlasting glory must be placed within it. Like the womb of a woman wanting to birth the son of Mary. The angel said the child should be called Yehoshua, yea, Yehovah saves. Now, in those days, sort of like now, y'all, Israel Israel was part of the Roman Empire, ruled over by the Emperor Caesar Augustus. Soon after Joseph and Mary were married, the Roman Emperor commanded all the citizens of the empire to return to their hometowns. Yea, so that their names could be listed in a census. This would show how many people lived in the empire under Roman rule. Both Joseph and Mary were descended from the family of King David. Did you know that? So they returned to their hometown in Bethlehem. King David's birthplace. When they reached Bethlehem, the town was filled with people who had come in from the countryside to be listed by the Romans. Even though Mary was about to give birth, they could find no place to stay in Bethlehem. Finally, they found Lodge, They found lodging in a stable. Yea, a place where cattle were kept. Butchers were seen. Bakers were smelt. And the candlestick maker brought the light forth in the dark places. And there was the baby, ye born this night. They had no crib, so he was laid upon the hay in a manger. Yeah, that old hound dog that was laying up in there, not letting any of the donkeys or the rams or the lambs or the sheep eat. They run him off and laid the little baby, the Mashiach, Yahshua, into the hay in a manger, which is the trough, yea, from which the cattle eat, yea. Never to be confused with the hog's trough, y'all. A hog will eat anything, even its own young. Cattle aren't such beasts. On the night of the baby's birth, some shepherds were tending their sheep in the field near Bethlehem. Suddenly a great light shone upon them, and an angel of Mariahova appeared. They were frightened by the vision, but the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, 
I bring you news of great joy, which shall be to all the people. For there is born to you this day in Bethlehem, the city of David, a Savior who is the anointed son of Maria our God. They were frightened by the vision, but the angel comforted them and said, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you news of great joy. Yes, great joy. Are you ready to receive it? Yeah, are all the people ready to receive the glory? Yeah, a little mustard seed in their heart. Savior, lying in a manger. Yeah. The angel told them how to find the child. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Then they saw that the sky was filled with angels and heard them singing, Glory to God in the highest Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, Hoshua, our King, hallelujah, hallelujah, mighty one. Then the angels after saying peace and goodwill toward men, the angels disappeared. The shepherds immediately set out for the town. When they found Mary and Joseph with the babe, ye lying, a baby laying in a manger, not a babe lying in a manger. It's a big difference there. Do you lie or do you lay? They repeated the message they had heard. Everyone was amazed. Mary, who had also been told by God of the great mission of her son, said nothing. But she thought deeply about these strange and wonderful happenings. After Yahshua was born, Joseph and Mary stayed on in Bethlehem. They didn't want to travel with the newborn baby. On one of the nights, yeah, sometime after the birth, three men, strangers to Joseph and Mary, appeared in the little town of Nazareth, or, or Bethlehem, I mean. They were... They were richly dressed, and it was clear that they did not come from anywhere near Judea. They had come from a land far, far to the east. They were men of great learning and wisdom and had spent many years studying the stars and the mysteries of the world. Ye. Men who studied, yea, their fathers with Daniel. One night they had seen a new and magnificent star shining in the sky. They knew what it meant. Do you know what it means? Do you know what it meant? 
that a great king was born in the world, and that the star would lead them to the newborn king. The wise men, yea, the three wise men searching for the everlasting glory, decided to follow the star. So they might see this king and learn what he meant to the world. Their journey was long and hard. At last they came to the land of Judea, thinking that everyone in the land would know of the new king. They asked, where is he that is born the king of the Jews? In the east we have seen his star, and we have come to worship him, but no one, no one they met, no one had heard anything about a new king. Hmm, how could that possibly be? They knew only that Herod still ruled the land under the Roman governor. Word came to Herod that these three impressive visitors were asking about a new king. He was worried for He knew that he was not popular with his people. He called the priests and scribes, the men who studied and taught the things that were predicted in the Bible, and asked them what the prophets had predicted about a new king coming to Israel. They told Herod that it was predicted that out of Bethlehem, in the land of Yehuda, yea, Judah, shall come forth one who shall rule Jehovah's people. Herod was frightened. He called for the three wise men and told them to find the child so that he might also come and worship him. But of course, Herod was lying. He wanted to find the baby in order to destroy him. The wise men set out and soon found the star again shining high in the heavens above the road to Bethlehem. They followed it to the stable where Yahshua was born. When they saw the child, they knew at once that This was the one they had sought. Ye, they knelt before. Ye, they knelt before him and presented gifts of gold and of rare scents of perfumes and things that they cherished. Ye, frankincense and myrrh, which were used at that time in religious ceremonies, yea, even until this very day. You see, that same night God warned the wise men in a dream not to return to Herod, but to go back to their own land by a different road. Thus Herod did not find out where Yahshua was. The coming of the anointed son had long been predicted among the Jews. But they believed he would be the savior only of his own nation. The three wise men were the first men outside of Israel to know that Yahshua had come for all men. That these men can save their sons Daughters and wives can give them a joyful heart forever. You see, the coming of the anointed son, that long predicted, yea, moment by the Jewish, yea, the lovers of truth, yea, not those bound in the synagogue of Satan, those that, yea, 
have the locks on their temple. He, their temple doors locked forever. They may never know the Mashiach, for their fathers have inherited things from men and teach words of truth of men. And let not the spirit of truth bring forth the manna in the living word, ye in the fourth watch every day. Ye in these same three wise men, the first to know that Yahshua came for all. He, like an eagle pie and a pie eagle, these three point one four one five forever ones, they were the first to see him to save. 